In this class, we will look at how to solve these kinds of combination problems. Combination with limitations. Not both combination. And combination with identicals. Steps to solve combination with limitations problems are. Take care of limitations first. Resolve the rest. And use the multiplication rule to combine them together. Let's look at an example. Three children are chosen from ten boys and four girls. There must be two boys. How many selections are there? The limitation here is two boys. So we select two boys first. This is 10C2. After two boys are selected, the remaining one can be only selected from the four girls. This is 4C1. So the answer is 10C2, times 4C1, which is 180. Here's another example. Three children are chosen from ten boys and four girls. There must be at least one boy. How many selections are there? We will look at two approaches. Approach 1. At least one boy means, the number of boys can be one, two, or three. If there is one boy, we select one boy from ten boys, and two girls from four girls. This is 10C1 times 4C2. If there are two boys, we select two boys from ten boys, and one girl from four girls. This is 10C2 times 4C1. If there are three boys, we select three boys from ten boys, and no girl. This is 10C3. So the answer is the sum of all these three cases. And the result is 360. Approach 2 is an easier one. We know at least one, is all minus none. Therefore, at least one boy is equal to all possible ways minus no boy. All possible ways is 14c3. No boy is select all three from girls only. This is 4c3. So the answer is 14c3 minus 4c3. This is also 360. Three people are chosen from 10 to form a committee. Two people in those 10 are John and Mary, and they can't both serve in the committee. How many selections are there? Our first approach is to find out all possibilities. John and Mary can't be both in, means only one is in, or neither is in. If John is in and Mary is out, then two positions are left for the remaining eight people. This is 8C2. If John is out and Mary is in, it is also 8C2. If neither is in, then all three positions are filled by the remaining eight people. This is 8C3. So the answer is 2 times 8C2, plus 8C3. This is 112. The second approach is easier. Not both is equal to all minus both. All is 10C3. If both serve in the committee, then one position is left for the remaining eight people to fill. This is 8C1. So the answer is 10C3 minus 8C1. This is also 112. The second approach is the recommend one. It's a lot easier. Four letters are to be selected from the letters in the word, rigidity. How many different combinations are there? There are eight letter in total. The three I's are identical. And there's one for each of other letters. To solve this problem, we consider cases for all possible number of I's. When all three I's are selected, we need to select one more letter from the remaining five. This is 5C1. When two I's are selected, we need to select two more letters from the remaining five. This is 5C2. When one I is selected, we need to select three more letters from the remaining five. This is 5C3. When no I's are selected, we select all four letters from the remaining five. This is 5C4. So the answer is the sum of all four cases. And the result is 30. To solve combination with identicals problems, we need to consider cases for all possible number of the identical objects. In this class, we learned how to solve three kinds of combination problems. Combination with limitations. Take care of limitations first. Resolve the rest. And multiply them together.
at least one is equal to all minus none. Not both combination. Not both is equal to all minus both. Identicals. Consider cases for all possible number of the identical objects. 